What's going on everyone? Happy playoff season. Today I'm going to be taking you through my 2024 NHL Stanley Cup playoff bracket. I'm going to pick who I think is going to win from each of the first eight matchups and continue all the way to the Stanley Cup finals where I will choose a Stanley Cup champion. And of course we're doing this now, but once the playoffs are over, we're, we're going to come back to this bracket and everyone will be able to point and laugh at me as I get everything wrong. Now when taking a look at the first matchup, we have Dallas versus the Vegas Golden Knights. The defending Stanley Cup champions are going down. I've got the Dallas Stars making it to round two. Next up, we have Winnipeg and the Colorado Avalanche. Now, this one I went back and forth on. When you look at this here, you can see the tail of the tape pretty much and, and who's done what and how they're doing and, and whatnot. I'm going to be honest with you. Nathan McKinnon might be just enough to drag Colorado to the finish line over Winnipeg. But I think in the end, it's going to be the goaltending that lets Colorado down. And I'm going to go with Winnipeg. Next up, we have the Vancouver Canucks and the Nashville Predators. This is going to be a really good series, I think. Roman Yossi versus Quinn Hughes. Thatcher Demko versus UC Saros. And in the end, I do have the Vancouver Canucks moving on. Lastly, we have the Edmonton Oilers and the LA Kings. This one's a no-brainer for me. I'm going Edmonton. I'm not betting against Conor McDavid in the first round. Now for the bonus round, I get to pick how many games each series is going to last. Dallas over Vegas, I think, in six Winnipeg over Colorado in five. That one's probably going to be a hot take. Vancouver in six, and then Edmonton. I'm going to have them. I, I want to say they're going to sweep them. I'll put them in five, though. Maybe LA squeaks out a game. Now we're going to head over to the Eastern Conference, and we're starting with Florida versus the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I think this is going to be a pretty good series. In the end, I think it's time for Tampa to start coming down, even though they have Nikita Kucherov and Braden Point, Victor Hedman, Andre Vasilevsky. I don't think they make it out of the first round this year, and I do have Florida over Tampa. Next up, the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is the big one. This is what everyone wants to see. Do I think the Toronto Maple Leafs make it past the Boston Bruins? Do they slay the dragon? Do they do all those big name things and everyone's happy and whatever? No! Boston beats Toronto and the Leafs fans lose their damn mind. Now, I would actually love to see Toronto win. My grandfather's a huge Maple Leafs fan. I followed the Leafs ever since I was like five years old. You know what I mean? Living in between Detroit and Toronto. I have absolutely no problem if Toronto wins the cup. I would be happy. I would love to see my grandfather's reaction to it. You know what I mean? But the defense and the goaltending, I just don't think are good enough. I really don't think that it's going to get it done. I'm sorry. Again, come back in a couple months when I'm absolutely wrong and we go through it and you can laugh at me all you want. Rangers and Capitals, I am going to go with the New York Rangers. I don't think this one's going to be particularly close. Washington just barely snuck in. I don't like their center depth whatsoever. And unless Lindgren is going to absolutely steal a series, I just don't think it's going to happen. And then last but not least, we have the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. I just think the Carolina Hurricanes have a very well-built team, right? They're really well put together. They play amazing defense. Their goaltending's good. They have players like Taravina and Ajo, Sveshnikov. They just picked up Kuznetsov. Not to mention Jake Gensel. I, honestly, I got to go Carolina here. So those are my four picks for the Eastern Conference. Now, how many games? Florida, I think, is going to win in five. Boston and Toronto, I'm going to go seven. Leafs fans, please don't hate me. Rangers and Caps, I think the Rangers win in five. Carolina and the Islanders, I think we'll go a little bit longer. I'll say six games there. So it comes down to Dallas, Winnipeg, Vancouver, Edmonton, Florida, Boston, New York, and Carolina. Between Dallas and Winnipeg, I am going to go for the Dallas Stars. I really like the way their team is built. I think their defense is maybe a bit of a problem, but their goaltending and Jake Ottinger is incredible. This one's really a toss-up, though, and can go either way, and I wouldn't be upset if either team won. Then Vancouver and Edmonton. Canucks fans, I'm very sorry to say, but I am going to go with Connor McDavid in this one. Edmonton and Dallas as the Western Conference Final. I just can't bet against McDavid. Not yet. In the East, Florida versus Boston. I do have the Florida Panthers moving on here. I think it's going to be a really tough series between Toronto and Boston. I think Boston's going to be real tired and real beat up heading into the matchup with Florida. Florida made it to the finals last year, and they may do it again this year. Then we have the Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes. This one I'm going back and forth on. I am going to go with the New York Rangers. With Igor Shosturkin in net, they have Adam Fox on defense, and then I think that their offensive core is one of the best in the league. I think the Rangers are able to get it done. So now it's Dallas versus Edmonton and Florida versus New York. And for Dallas versus Edmonton, I'm going Dallas. I am going with the Dallas Stars. Hey, look, I'm betting against McDavid on this one. Just a gut feeling on this. I don't really have one way or another. I don't care for either team, you know what I mean? But um, I just have the gut feeling that Dallas is going far this year. And between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers, I am going to go with the New York Rangers here. So it's going to come down to Dallas and the Rangers for the Stanley Cup. And I said Dallas is going to be going far. However, I'm taking the New York Rangers to win the Cup. The tiebreaker question is how many goals will be scored in the final? I'm going to say 35. I have read the rules. Submit the bracket. 
And hey, if you want to do your own bracket, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out. But yes, in the end, I have the New York Rangers winning the Stanley Cup for the 2024 season. Again, feel free to come back and laugh at me when they get first rounded and whatnot, but uh, that, that's my bracket. There you go. Like I said, we'll come back and look at it once the playoffs are over and we'll, we'll go through it and we can see just how wrong I really was. But for now, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. But for now, I'm gone. Let me know down below who you think is winning the cup, though. Just take one team from those 16 and let me know who you think is winning. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.